Hello everyone and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf here in Moss Tree Village. Oh, and there's a little chatter. Chatter, what are you doing hanging out under the perfect peach tree, huh? Hey there, Siri. Sure feels great to play under the warm sun, huh? Fromage. So, something up, Fromage? Let's chat, my little friend. Do you by any chance know the, de the definition of SF and SF movies and F SF comics? Uh, science fiction, my friend. Various genres have appeared over time, so pegging down a definition has gotten a little difficult. But science fiction was the original meaning. That refers to science fantasy novels as well. Me? I don't care, as long as there's a love story in there at some point. Chatter, you're, you're adorable. Is he wearing the corset too? I feel like the corset has taken over my entire town, which is kind of hilarious. I just saw Caesar walk by a second ago, and I totally forgot that I need to send Caesar this captain's jacket. So I'll go inside and snag some of my um snag some of my stationery and write him a nice little letter oh and there's the yellow roses and then i'm gonna plant these red lilies down and hopefully the red lilies and the yellow lilies will be able to make some more black lilies pretty soon because i ended up with quite a few black lilies kind of by accident i think that's actually caesar who waters my flowers for me quite often so once i get a little bit more used oh no why does it have to be <laughs> money rock hi i guess you're right here today all right, come on, Money Rock. Come on, we've got this. We've got this. We're in it for real today. Okay, well, we managed to get at least that much. That's really cool. So the Money Rock was hiding right in front of my house today. But once we get used to things just a little bit more, I can gather up some more of my perfect peaches, take care of my town, start organizing my, um, my gardens a bit more. Then the town will start looking nice. Right now, I'm still getting used to everything. Ah, oh, there we go. So much money. Yay. Oh, and there's a beautiful little monarch like flying by. That's so sweet. Oh, hi, little one. Do you like my garden? Don't worry. It'll get more organized as time goes on. But yeah, once I get used to a few more things and I sort of feel like we've got a good bit of control over what we're doing in our village, then I definitely will start sorting my flowers because right now they're just kind of all over the place. All right, let's check what's in the mail today. Do I have enough room? Oh, oh, there's a letter. There's a letter with a present for me. Okay, let's see what's in there. And I found out there's actually, oh, dang it. I always click on the, the pro designs instead of the little letter tab. I found out that there's actually a special way that you can get letters with presents from the villagers. It determines, it's determined by if you use real words and if you write a whole bunch to them. So you want to write like, I think it's three sentences and then they have a chance of sending you some new furniture. So I thought that was really cool. But one sentence means they may send you a fruit and that's how you can get some of the fruit that's not native to your town so i thought that was helpful information all right so let's see who sent me some uh, some letters is it my mom again let's check it's my mom Dear Siri, I hear your home is expanding. Wow, look at the fancy paper she wrote this on. I like it. It's kind of like the paper you'd expect from a queen, huh? Use this to fill some of your new space. I'm so proud of you, Mom. Wait, I did expand my house. Wait a second. I totally forgot I expanded my house. All right, what kind of present did Mom send me? No, I want to open it. There we go. She sent me... Oh, a time clock. Hey, let's go inside and check what, what that looks like. All right. I totally forgot I expanded my house. Oh, this is so exciting. Is it bigger? It's a little bigger. Yay. All right. I've got some more room. Ah, let's push these around. Some more room to start showing off more plants. So that makes me happy. That's the, the first order of business is we'll go over to Tommy and Timmy's place and we will see if we can snag some more plants. We'll also go dig up some fossils really quickly to see if we can get any more of the cool little pedestal fossils that we can show off. I love how we found so many dinosaur eggs. Like, I think we had three dinosaur eggs at one point. I don't remember what I did with the other one, though. Oops. All right. Can't push that over there. All right. Give me just a second. I have my big giant beetle. He's hanging out next to the, the big bug thing. I do have quite the reputation now as being a good entomologist, so that made me pretty happy. There we go. We'll put the palm fern over there and the potos over here. Fantastic! I can't wait to fill this place up with even more stuff. So let's see what kind of stuff I have hiding in my inventory right now. A time clock for my mom. Oh, mom, it's kind of modern for me. Like, oh, mom, that's a time clock for, like, work. That's not something I want. <laughs> oh, 
I guess it could be used like when we have, um, and I want to give the black katakana to my beloved chips, but I guess the time clock could technically be used for a museum little building that we'll have in the future, like one of the other houses that we're going to turn into museums for people to be able to look at when they're visiting us in the dream state. Then we could use the time clock as like you punch it to be like, yeah, it's my ticket to get into the museum. That could be kind of cute. We got the spooky wardrobe and the lab chair as well. And I think I can possibly give all of these things away except for my katakana to chips. So let's go ahead and grab some of the stationery really quickly. And then I will have to just send that. I need to send... Okay, so... Oh, it's my goldfish paper! What? I can't write any more letters. Okay, we're gonna have to... Sorry, Aurora. I need to, I need to go ahead and remove your letter. Wait, how do you how do you delete the letters if you if you need to make space? Oh no. Oh no, I'm not sure how to do this. Oh, do you just like ah, okay, read and then close. Huh. Huh. Well, that's going to be a little bit of a conundrum. Can I not do it inside? Is that the thing? Well, let's walk out and see what happens. Also, I want to go visit with my villagers today. And we'll see how Isabel is. Oh, and we'll go up and see if Blathers wants to talk about that museum expansion. But I've heard you have to talk to Blathers. Come on. Oh, no, my mail pouch is so full. Yeah, you can only clear these letters if you're outside. I had no idea that was the case. All right, well, noted. I'll just have to toss a few of them. And then we'll write a quick letter to my beloved Chips. So Chips, Chips. And then, oh, it's goldfish paper. And then for... You, my love, lub, for you, my lube. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, there you go. And then it's kind of tricky because to get the actual exclamation point, you have to go all the way over here. There we go. All right. Oh, look at the cute little goldfish. It's perfect. It's so perfect. All right, now where's that katakana? There it is. And then, doink, there you go. So there's for him. And then we're going to write another letter and we're going to send it to Caesar. And then it'll be like, this suit doo -doo 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 -doo, looked like uh, this. No, suit, suit, not dude. Oh, gosh. All right. Hang on. It takes a second to write in this. So let me do this really quickly. There we go. Hopefully this will nail it so that Caesar actually puts on the new pilot suit we got for him and he will hopefully help us out by sending some really cool furniture back. So dear Caesar, this suit looked like it would be perfect for such a distinguished individual as yourself. Thank you for the gardening help from Siri. All done. That's kind of a long letter to write just for the sake of sending it to like a villager, but that's okay. Also Genji ran up to me with a little ping. So let's see what Genji needs. The face tells me that you're in fine form, Siri. Don't go changing, Otaku. What can I help you with? What's the latest, Genji? You ran up to me for a reason, yeah? Not a cloud in the sky. Today's a good day to hang my sweaty shirts out to dry. <laughs> I guess I must have missed why he pinged me. So I'll talk to him again. Yeah, I'm going to catch some giant bugs with this thing. I wonder if I'll see any that are twice as big as you. Come to think of it, this net might not cut it. Oh man, I need a bigger net, Otaku. All right, Genji, you have a good day, okay? All right, so I've gotten those letters written. Oh, and it looks like we have another camper. Let's go visit our camper. Also, I'm going to stop over here because I always spoil. <gasps> it's another, it's another thing. Ah, oh, it's another present. Why am I never ready for this? Okay, I think I remember. Yeah, I remembered where I put the, the little slingshot this time. I'm so excited. I'm still not used to these presents. Just, oh, look at that flower. It's really sparkly. The presents that just float across the sky like this. Hey, you. Okay, got it. Got to line this up just right. Oh, I got it! Second try! Yay! All right, it's another balloon thingy. So let's check out what's inside. All right, so we're gonna open it. And it's a wait, a balloon bed? <laughs> I guess I have a bed now. It's a balloon bed. That's pretty funny. Also, I'm sorry if I seem a little bit off today or a little bit like silly. I still have that cold, so I'm a little bit distracted from my cold. All right, but over at Blanche's house where Tabby is taking care of everything. Thank you, Tabby. Fish flakes. Hello, hello, Kerpow. What do you want to talk about, Kerpow? What you doing today, Tabby? So if you're going to try one of these extremely extreme things, which would it be? Tyro walking, skydiving, log rolling. Hmm. Log rolling, I think. Oh yeah? I'd love to do that too. We should have lumberjacks. Why should lumberjacks have all the fun, Kerpow? Oh my goodness, Tabby, you're adorable. Do you want one of the mini random things I'm carrying in my, my pockets right now? Oh yeah, she does! Hey, I heard a rumor that you have a spooky wardrobe. 
Is it true? I have to get one right away. Will you sell it to me? Please, please, please? Of course, Javi. How much? I wish I could trade you. 550 mils. That's not a lot. I paid like 2,000 for this, but you can have it, okay? I probably, I'm gonna get gypped. I wanted you to trade me an item, but that's okay. We're good, Tabby, we're good. All right, so let's see if this is the gemstone rock, and then let's go see what camper. It is the gemstone rock, huzzah, amethyst. And let's plant the yellow roses, because I put those over next to Blanche's house, and we'll see if we can visit with Blanche in the future. And then let's come over, oh, no camper today. Oh man, I thought there would be a camper here. Oh, Blanche, there you are. How are you, my dear friend? Hello, Siri. Nice day to get a few things done, isn't it? Was there something you wanted quite so? Let's talk, my friend. You know Chips from Moss Tree, right? Are you guys good friends? Are you kidding? We're totally in love. I'm not sure what to think about him, especially since someone told me he's a new face. You know, I should probably just go and talk to him myself. We shouldn't let go we shouldn't gossip like this. Oh, I could gossip about Chips all day long. I can't believe Blanche and I are like gossiping about Chips. All right, anything else going on, Blanche? What kind of clothes do you wear when you're relaxing at home? Um, well, I do wear whatever's comfy, but I also, I keep it stylish. Really? Who are you trying to impress? Don't get me wrong, sweatpants are not mean, meant to be seen in public, but they're fine for a, a lazy day. <laughs> oh my gosh, Blanche, I can't believe we're just chit-chatting about my chips. Okay, a little bit more. Talk to me, Blanche. I'm just out chasing butterflies and bugs and being a little silly. What are you doing, Siri? Just doing the usual, kind of the same thing. Today I'm just sort of taking it easy. No huge major plans. There's my beloved Chip's house. And then maybe I'll go say hello to Aurora really quickly and we'll scan the area. Oh, she's inside. And we'll scan the area for any useful fossils. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. I really need to get another bridge built up here, which means I need to finish the dream suite. And I would love to start trying to dedicate like one day a week to maybe going dreaming. I think that would be really fun. And I think you can only like look but not keep or touch like a lot of the stuff when you're dreaming. But I think you can actually like keep gifts and exchange items when you visit friends places. So I think that would be sort of fun to do with some of you guys in the future if you'd like. Oh no, I missed the ladybug. <laughs> well, at least I caught the butterfly. Maybe somebody will want the butterfly. It's so pretty. All right, so we'll go ahead and put that away. My silly cold is just throwing everything off, so I really apologize if I sound weird or if I'm just kind of rambling. Oh, look at your place, Aurora. You're still... <laughs> Aurora! She's displaying the shirt I gave her. She's displaying it, but she's not wearing it. And she still kept her old shirt. Aurora, that's okay. And now she's got the corset on. Aurora, I really shouldn't judge. If this is what makes you happy, then this is what makes you happy. And she's got her lionfish and she's working on her book. I imagine since she said she really, really loves like studying the wildlife around here, she writes up books about Moss Tree Village's wildlife. So that's really cool, Aurora. Hi, Siri. Welcome to my home. So what can I do for you? Let's chat, Aurora. Um, give me your honest opinion. How does my outfit look? Uh, it is, it's gorgeous, Aurora. I can't, I can't be. Uh, do you think it's wearing, it's <laughs> wearing me then? I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh gosh, Aurora. You should try this one out. I think that one would be really cute on you. Hi, Siri. What can I do for you? Let's talk to her for a little bit more. I was talking to Genji. Genji! Moving! Oh, no. Uh, I'll have to go talk to him. Why can't it be like one of the others? Oh, dear. Uh, can we talk for a second about your fantastic Parasaur skull? Oh, my gosh. I'm completely smitten. Would you be willing to part with it? I don't mean for free, of course. You could have my minimalistic wardrobe in return. Uh, sure, let's trade. I mean... I would love to keep the, the skull and be able to sell it, but hey, you know what? If this is what Aurora's into, she probably wants to study it for a specimen so she can write about it. That's awesome, Aurora. That was fun. Let's do it again sometime. Sweet. So she just gave me something new. So now I have a minimalistic wardrobe, so we'll have to check that out. I did manage to get my spooky wardrobe. Aurora, anything else? My spooky wardrobe sold. Rumor has it you've got yourself a bluegill. I'm actually doing an- Oh, see, she does oil paintings and researches all the plants and animals and fossils in the area. Oh, of course you can. Oh, and now she'd give me a patchwork sofa too. Aurora, you're such a sweetheart. Wow, she really- Oh, that's so cute, I gave fish to Aurora. She's a penguin, of course you want it for a quote unquote oil painting, Aurora. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. All right, anything else? She's really on a roll today. 
Like, she's just trading left and right. Yeah, Genji, don't worry, don't worry, Aurora. I wonder who's who she's friends with. I feel bad because Aurora is kind of isolated from everybody else being up on this side of town. So I might try to get that, that bridge built. I don't want her to be all by herself. All right, so let's see, lots of butterflies. Genji! I wonder if that's why Genji ran up to me earlier. There's Caesar. Hey, Blanche. Do you want to talk about anything again? Hello again. Aren't you busy, Siri? What's the latest, Blanche? Uh, I finally found what you wanted. You know, a white pot? Uh, what? What? Wait, you did want something like that. I swear you said you did, didn't you? Oh, I must have confused things, but you have to take it now, Siri. Come on, don't be shy. Even if we're not the very best friends, can't I give you a gift? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love spending time with my villagers. Enjoy the gift. It suits you quite so. Wow, and Caesar, how are you? You're the one who gave me persimmons, so maybe I should get him like a gardening outfit instead of his pilot outfit. But he says highness, and his name is Caesar, so I just, I, I take him so seriously, you know? I was just about to use the weather as an excuse, but I'm not going to lose to the weather. I'm not going to lose to anything, Highness. Oh, an excuse for what, Caesar? All right. I just want to see at this time of day in this place, if I'm just if I just space out for a bit, my mind always drifts to the same thing. I'd really like to catch a whopper of a fish before nightfall. Then I'd be able to brag about it to everyone. Of course, these days I don't even end up catching the smallest fry. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So he's like uh, also fishing. He's kind of becoming in my mind the gardening expert of the town. Let's see how much stuff do I have quite a bit, but I should be okay. He's sort of becoming the gardening expert of the town. Oh, and there's a new notice. What's going on over here? Oh, Big Top's birthday! <gasps> Big Top's birthday party! I was supposed to go to Big Top's birthday party. Okay, we'll do that in just a second. I am so glad that I, I decided to spend some time having fun today and recording because I almost forgot he invited me to his birthday party. Migratory Locust is a bonus today. Okay, Reese. I mean, she probably gets all sorts of interesting orders from around the world, so I won't question it. Reese, how are you doing today? And then I'm gonna sell just a couple things to her really quickly so that I've got a little bit of space, and then we'll go and check out everybody else. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna sell the amethyst, even though, and the butterfly. And I guess I'm just gonna sell that time clock. Goodness gracious. I can't wait to see what the white pot is and the patchwork sofa and the balloon bed I think I'm going to give as the birthday present to Big Top, because why not? All right, there we go, beautiful crystals. Man, Moss Tree Village, it has so much to offer. I can't wait till I can organize things a little bit more and really get into the flow of feeling like, yeah, we're selling our peach jam all the time. We have a special native beetle population that we're able to send out to researchers throughout the world. Hey, are you a migratory locust? Get back over here. Hey, come here. All right. Genji, help me out here, buddy. Aw, oh, it jumped into the water. I, I accidentally killed it. That, well, that wasn't my intention, but you know, sometimes it happens. All right, got another fossil. I guess I should try to find the last fossil really quickly before we go up to Main Street. And this is where my future farm is going to be. I'm gonna put down all sorts of cute little paths and make it a farm. I'm maybe going to put some of the public works projects in front of the town hall so that we can use town hall. Hey, there's another guy. Are you a migratory locust? Get back over here. Ah, I need to clear up some of these trees. I know that sounds weird coming from me, but I do need to make it so that the townspeople can, uh, Migratory locust, get back over here! Ah, uh, why do I, why do I have to suck so bad when it's on camera? Uh, I killed that one too. I'm a locust killer. Run away before Genji, Genji comes for me. Oh, uh, he'll have. No wonder he wants to move. I'm a locust killer. I, I just, I smush bugs. Oh dear. Oh. Dang it, I was hoping this was a fossil, but there we go. I guess it's a something something. And then Big Top's having his birthday party, so we'll go in and we'll visit with him in just a minute here. But yeah, like we will need to make some room. The trees will just need to be a little bit more organized. Originally, I thought this was gonna be a really overgrown kind of like foresty looking village, but now I'm thinking I'm gonna make it a lot more organized. I'm gonna make it more into like kind of a farm sort of place. Uh, I've mentioned that to you guys a few times, but I'm just really enjoying that idea. Kind of like a, a park, like a national park, which always looks a little bit more groomed. <gasps> Blathers! Yes, Blathers! Please, consider! Consider the expansion! Who? Hmm. What's wrong, Blathers? Oh. 
Why, Mayor, I was just trying my best to solve a dilemma, but I must admit I'm fairly stuck. Oh, may I ask your thoughts on the matter? Though our collection has grown, our museum just isn't drawing the attendance I hoped for. I know the very thing that will bring more visitors, of course. The museum must be remodeled. We have a second floor that's just going unused at the moment. It would be perfect for something fresh. Oh yes, what we need is an exhibit space where everyone in Moss Tree can display what they want. That's actually really a smart way to do community outreach. I like that idea. I should do that in zoo crafting. Now my dilemma. As the director here, I have big dreams for our museum, but no bells. I don't have the funds to remodel the museum. But, Mayor, this place is a public service, so perhaps, maybe, we could have this added to the list of public works projects for the town? Would you consider making this a priority for Moss Tree? As Mayor, you can make this dream come true. I'll tell your secretary, Isabel, in case you'd like to help out. My thanks in advance, Mayor. Wonderful! I'm so excited, you guys! Now I need to go really, really do a lot of beetle hunting every night when I hang out with Chips at night now, and I'll just pull out the little DS, and I'll do lots of beetle hunting to earn tons of bells so that we can work on the public works projects. Oh my gosh, now we're going to get the Dream Suite built, and then we're going to get the museum built, and I'm going to be so excited, and then we can pick where in town we're actually going to be putting in the brand new houses, and the houses are just going to be mini museums where I can show off stuff that I found or earned or stumbled on or bought and then after we get all of those things set up then I might start opening up to like dream suites and might start going and visiting your guys's town and letting visitors come to my town I just don't want to get any of the special items like I you guys are so amazing but sometimes like when people give you stuff instead of you having the opportunity to try getting it for yourself it takes a bit of the the oomph away you know what I mean so I'm excited about that and then I'll be able to start inviting you guys here I'm so oh, I'm thrilled I'm pleased as punch all right do I have anything I could donate? Aw, okay. I need to I need to go ahead and I need to assess my fossils, blathers. Gosh, I love I love this so much. I love spending time in my village. Alright, so I have two fossils today. I'm sure the third one will come up eventually. Let's see if we have either more eggs. I really love how many dinosaur eggs we've managed to find so far. Or let's see. Alright. Are they both things for the museum? Interesting. All right, let's make a donation. There you go, Blathers. I can't wait for us to expand. Oh, Ammonite! And a torso for somebody. Sweet. All right, so we're donating both things. There you go, Blathers. I'm so excited. I'll talk to Isabel as quickly as possible. And then I will start putting some, some money towards being able to get the Dream Suite. And I'll start putting some money towards being able to get the museum built. So yay! And I haven't forgotten I need to get Aurora her bridge. Poor Aurora. She's so all by herself up there. And I'll have to figure out where I'm going to actually be putting the... Um, the other houses, the two other houses for the two other characters, I'm going to use as the extra museums. So basically my little mayor character right here, she is going to be in charge of getting all the bells for them and then we'll send the bells to that household and then we will go ahead and expand those houses based on the bells that I get from the mayor, of course. All right, we're going to send some mail. Wonderful. We're going to send it to person here in town and there we go. So Chips and Caesar are getting their letters today. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking that I may try writing mail more often. Because it sounds like a really fun way just to bond with some of my favorite villagers and send them presents every day. And if you write one line, like it said, if you write one line, then you might get like a, a fruit back. If you write two lines, then you might get some clothing or something like that. And this is just from memory, so I could be wrong. And it could be wrong, like as a rumor. And if you write three lines, you can get furniture, which would be fun. It's Siri. So good to see you, hmm? Your house is much roomier, yes? I hope you find it adds to your quality of life, my friend. Yes, yes. So, it's time for business numbers. Yes, yes, the trifling cost of your addition comes to 198,000 bells. Pocket change, really. <sighs> Who are you related to, Nook? Ah, uh, don't worry. Okay, I'll pay, I'll pay up eventually. Do you have the hedge fencing? No. No, you don't. Fooey. All right, well, come back another day. I want hedge fencing, please. Please, just bushes. Please. A whole bunch of pretty bushes around my house. We'll get there eventually. And one day I'll go into club, LOL. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll check on TNT Mart and maybe over in the Able Sisters place. And then we're going to go down and have Big Top's birthday party. 
Oh, and because it's October, pre- Oh, remodeling? <gasps> you guys are already remodeling? I apologize for how sudden this is, but we'll be closing our shop on October 4th. After that, we'll be- uh, After that, we'll be closed while we remodel the store. I apologize for the inconvenience. We ask for your understanding as we become an even better store. The best. Oh my gosh, congratulations! They're remodeling again, you guys. That means that they'll have an even bigger shop. That's gonna be so, so fun. Oh my gosh, what do you guys have over here? This is an interesting little table. Uh, I don't know if it's my style, but if I could like change the top of it somehow, I might want it. Hmm, hmm. The modern wood lamp, I'll take it. Because that actually kind of looks like something I would use. Now this looks kind of almost like a microscope, but I'm pretty sure you can actually get a microscope. I don't know, what about this table? Oh, it's a spooky table. Oh, it's a limited time spooky table. Then I'll take it. Even though I'm probably just gonna give it away or I'm gonna sell it again. And what about this lamp? How much? A mini lamp. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Uh, so many things that I'm buying just so that I can like potentially use them in the future in our future museums. A dotted wall. Hmm, uh, show me. What does it look like? Um, I mean, it's kind of cute, but it's not really, not really my jam. I go for more earthy looks, you know what I mean? All right, and then, oh, the spooky carpet. <laughs> Is it didn't is this the same one as last time little one? It sure is. I'm pretty sure I passed this up I'm okay. I can't really see myself using that. Oh, but that reminds me I need to be buying as many of these candies as possible and saving these candies So I need to buy the candy and then you save it and you trade it with the villagers After you spook them you spook them good. All right. Bye Tommy or Timmy whichever one you are you adorable thing Oh gosh, she's so cute. Tommy. I feel like it's always Tommy. I never seem to come on Timmy days. All right, and Leaf, I'm sorry, I don't have enough room. <laughs> what the heck, something's being built? Oh my gosh. There's something being built. There's remodeling going on everywhere. Mabel, this is so exciting. Oh my goodness. <gasps> wow, it's so cute. I want it. Can I have it? The green lace-up dress is nice, right? I'm a real fan. I'll take it. I want it. It's so pretty. I think I might swap my dresses. All right, let's see. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, it's very autumn-y. Ah, this is going to be my, my new dress for just a moment. It doesn't look as mayoral, I'll be honest. I really need to find an outfit that, that makes me think. Like, this one looks more like a mayor to me because it's got a little vest. And this is really cute. That's the flowery tea, huh? Well, I'm gonna buy it so that I've got it like recorded forever and ever. All right, there we go. I really need to make some designs or figure out how to do that editing so that I can show off the pro designs from other people. Not to steal them, but because I want my villagers to wear them. All right, oh, look at that little mask. It's cute. Do I have any room for it? Hang on just a second here. Um, I have, for some reason, I brought my werewolf hood with me. So let me go ahead and make some room. Hmm, I have no more room again. <laughs> I guess I wanna buy this mask. Ghost mask, I'll take it. Now I could be a little ghosty if I wanted to. Now this is kinda cute, the daisy umbrella. Hmm, well I do want it actually cause it would match with my alpinist dress pretty well, but I am totally out of space. So bye Larabelle. That's so cool that she's like the f the far-flung fashion-loving sister. And what is this? There's something new being built in my town. There's just so much going on every day. That's why I haven't gotten super organized just yet. Because there's so much happening. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. There's just so much going on all of the time. All right, let me see if I have anything I want to put away really quickly in the train station. And then let's go and finish up by celebrating Big Top's birthday. And then later tonight, I will have to come back and do lots. And let's see, this is the, this is actually the little gyroid. Hi, buddy. Yeah, this is to, to build the dream suite. Oh, did I contribute any of that money? I don't remember contributing that money. So maybe my beloved Chips has been helping out. All right, I'm gonna just whoops daisy. All right, well, that's everything I have, sir. And I appreciate your gumption, but let me do this one. There we go. And there we go. All right, so I'll have to come back and work on that later. And let me see, anything I need to put away? Oh, is that my extra? It's my extra dinosaur egg. Sweet, that's so fun. I have so many dinosaur eggs. And I guess I'll have to put away the candy for now. I'll just keep it in there. 
I hope candy stacks because otherwise that's going to be a little bit, a little bit interesting. And I don't know, the flowery dress is kind of nice and I sort of bought it mostly just to know that I have it for, hmm, let's see, minimalistic modern ward lamp, spooky table, mini lamp. Yeah, I mostly bought the flowery dress just so that I could have it to, um, to buy in the future for my catalog. But I don't know if I'll keep it forever. Maybe I'll wear it. What's a good outfit to wear to a party? Maybe the flowery tee? That seems like a pretty chill outfit to wear to a party. I really like that shirt. I want to give it to Blanche. I like it for her better than, uh, this is kind of super fancy. But it's okay. I'm the mayor. I'm supposed to be super fancy. If I manage to find a different flower, like if I find roses on my way there. Well, I think you carry the roses in your mouth. So I think the tulip is good. All right. So on our way to Big Tops for his birthday. All right. Uh, maybe a pansy? I think the yellow, the yellow tulip's okay. All right. Let's go in. Big Top, I'm here for your birthday. I'm so excited that I had to change of clothes, too. You want to really, you want to make it nice. Big Top! Oh my gosh, Punchy's still wearing the corset. Big Top, happy birthday! Your house is kind of a bit dark right now, but that's okay. Happy birthday, Big Top. Oh, look at Punchy. He's, he's just singing. He's so happy. Yay, thanks for coming to my birthday celebration. You know, it's not a birthday without presents, so no need to be shy, fork it over. Here you go, buddy. I actually want to give him the balloon bed because I think that's pretty hilarious. I don't know if like that you can't buy that, but oh well. A balloon bed? It's not something I would have thought to buy for myself, but since you gave it to me, I'll give it, I'll give it a shot. It just seems like a perfect thing for a birthday party. I can't wait to get at the birthday cake, villain. Oh, that's so sweet. And Punchy, how are you doing? So you came to celebrate Big Top's birthday too, huh? I'm so glad. Now that you're here, it really feels like a party. I'll say there's only two of you guys here. Big Top's place has been transformed into Party Central. Ah ha ha, we set it up last night. Oh, that's so sweet. Can I eat any of this cake? Anything else, Big Top? Thanks for coming to my party. My pleasure. They're so happy. Oh my goodness. Saying Big Top so happy, it really makes me happy. Birthdays are like gifts that everyone can enjoy. That's so sweet, Punchy. I'm so glad you're happy for your friend. All right, and Big Top? Today, it's all about me. It's like a holiday. Oh, well, I'm glad you guys are having a great time. All right, you guys. Well, I'll leave you all here. I think we're getting some pretty good progress on the village. I'm kind of surprised at everything we've managed to do so far. I've got so many items. We'll have to see if Big Top sets up the balloon bed in his house. I think that would be pretty hilarious. But we're getting there. The house is expanding. I've got tons of new items I'm discovering. And hopefully, we will be able to like have all sorts of fun outfits. We'll be able to get the other houses built and make them into museums. I'll work on expanding the dream suite. And we'll just work on having some fun with our friends. So... I can't believe I fed a bluegill to Aurora today. That was awesome. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.